Remote work and hybrid work models have become prominent alternatives to traditional in-office setups, each offering distinct advantages and considerations. Understanding the differences between the two can assist organizations in tailoring their approach to align with their specific needs and the preferences of their workforce. Remote work, as the name suggests, involves employees carrying out their tasks from locations outside the traditional office setting, often from the comfort of their homes or other remote locations. This model leverages technology to facilitate seamless communication and collaboration among team members who may be geographically dispersed. On the other hand, the hybrid work model combines elements of both remote and in-office work. In a hybrid setup, employees have the flexibility to divide their time between working remotely and attending the physical office. This approach seeks to strike a balance between the benefits of remote work, such as increased flexibility, and the advantages of in-person collaboration. The primary difference lies in the extent of physical presence required. Remote work implies a complete absence from the traditional office, relying solely on virtual communication tools. In contrast, hybrid work allows for a more fluid arrangement with employees alternating between remote and in-office work based on individual and organizational needs. Determining which model is better depends on various factors, including the nature of the work, organizational culture, and employee preferences. Remote work can offer increased flexibility and reduced commuting time, contributing to improved work-life balance. However, it may pose challenges in terms of team cohesion and communication, particularly for roles that require close collaboration. Hybrid work attempts to address these challenges by providing the best of both worlds. It acknowledges the value of in-person interactions for certain tasks while embracing the flexibility of remote work. This model recognizes that not all roles and individuals require a fixed presence in the office, allowing for a tailored approach that accommodates diverse needs. Ultimately, the suitability of remote or hybrid work depends on the specific context of the organization. Some companies may find that a fully remote setup aligns well with their industry and workforce preferences, while others may benefit from the hybrid model's adaptability. Striking the right balance requires thoughtful consideration of the organization's goals, the nature of the work, and the expectations of employees. To conclude, the choice between remote and hybrid work models is not a matter of one being inherently better than the other. Instead, it hinges on the alignment of the chosen model with the organization's objectives and the preferences of its workforce. Both approaches offer unique advantages, and the key lies in finding the right blend that fosters productivity, collaboration, and employee satisfaction. If you like this video, then please like, share, and subscribe for more content like this.